Hi, I'm James Haskell. Welcome to JH Body Fire TV. I'm joined again by Ben Coomba, and we are looking at all my food that I would take in on a daily intake. And the reason I've got Ben along is that I know the reasons why I eat this amount of food. Um, this is a diary, that, uh, a food um, protocol that Phil Learney put together for me. You know, this is, you know, people need to realise looking at this right now, you need to eat a lot to fuel yourself. Mm. And you know, when you might get questions on Twitter, Facebook, the same with me, people are like, I'm not gaining weight, I'm not strong enough, I'm not performing well enough. And time and time again, I think people don't eat enough. Like, people watching this now would look at this and go, man, that is a lot of food. I mean, I'll be honest with you as well, there's a few bits missing from the diet. We haven't got all the carbs that I would normally have. Um, we've got some rice, but if you imagine, that's my that's my breakfast. Uh, the nuts that we, we obviously talked about, um, the, the coffee with a spoon for the tagalo, and again, that's the energy source. Um, and I've got five meals after that, and every meal will consist of, I'd have a whole portion of, of green veg, um, sort of 250 grams of, of, of protein and probably 300 grams of, of carbs and that would be brown rice, um, potatoes, sweet potatoes um, and we'd have that through the day. I've obviously again got um, white fish. And I think what's important is, you know, an athlete's diet, everyone thinks protein, carbs, protein, carbs. What you're doing and everyone has to do it, it's antioxidant, it's fibre, it's phytonutrients, and that comes from fruits and vegetables, and that's awesome to see in your diet, because I don't think enough people eat fruit and vegetables. Now this is um, what I'm currently on at the moment. We've got some chicken breast, and we've got 250 grams of, of chicken. This has been um, steamed and poached with my breakfast. Now, I know you're about preparation like I am. There is no excuse no. not to have food through the day. No. You just gotta be organised. If your your eggs are cooking, your steaks are cooking, whatever, you're like right, lunch, chicken's in, veggie there, cut up. You've got to be able to multitask and think ahead in the kitchen, and that's how you're gonna to stick to the foods that you need to eat. Now with this meal here, I still got the 250 grams of protein, I've got whole other green veg, I've got a combination of broccoli in there, I've got some green beans, but covering it, the weird looking sauce is actually some nut butters because Phil, um, I mean, you can elaborate on this more, but Phil wants me to change between both energy systems. I went for a long period of time having um, just normal carbs, and now he's gone across to, to fat. So we've got um, cashew, uh, cashew butter in there, almond butter, cup full of flaxseed, five spoonfuls of coconut oil. Again, getting my calories in, uh, in the meal. You know, what's your thought process on that? So as an athlete, the more efficient you can be at using fat for fuel, the more efficient you will then be at using carbohydrates and the, the energy systems will work more efficiently. If your energy or your body work primarily on carbs as a fuel source, you would not tap into your fat stores as well. So becoming more fat adapted allows you to utilize more energy as a whole, especially in intensive long duration training. Because that's hopefully with the game, you know, as other guys are getting tired, potentially I'll change energy systems, start using my fat stores and be able to carry on, is that right? Yes. Okay, well look, you've seen it all here. Um, this is just a little snippet, and again, there are some bits missing, but essentially, um, I would make six meals up from this volume of food. Um, we have, of course, in the morning, as we said, we've got the Angus Grill coffee and the coconut oil to start the day that I almost forgot. We've got some massive, weird-looking potato that might actually be a house brick, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Guys, if you want to hear more from Ben, then please go and subscribe to his channel. The details are below this video. If you want to hear more from JH Bodyfire TV, not miss anything about training, fitness, banter, then please subscribe here.